Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install Forgate on Casa OS. This makes it to where you can have your own uh, detection systems on your RTSP connections. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs. I'm going to install them, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And this was a suggested video by a viewer. So, thank you for the suggestion. And let me know if y'all have suggestions too. So, uh, Let's get started. So this is for Gate. It makes it to where you have real-time AI object detection. I think it uses Google, yeah, a Google Corel uh, TPU. So uh, it detects persons, cars, or other objects of interest. It's local processing. Stop reviewing shadows, and then fine tune your events and alerts with zones. Integrate with Home Assistant, other automations. We'll be installing it on COS OS though. Watch a dynamic real time video feed for your cameras. And there's the testimonials. So that, that's about for Gate, and we're going to get to installing it. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. I built a script to create the config file for Forgate because that's what you need first before you can even start it. So I'm going to go into Forgate Cos OS right here. I'm going to go to create config. I'm going to set a config path for the Forgate in Cos OS. I'll start with bash2. Ensure directory exists. So I'm going to ensure this path exists up here. I'm going to write the contents to uh, config.yaml uh, right here. So this is just a base config, and once you get this installed, you'll just add cameras underneath here. So you, you can add uh, front down here or whatever you want. And then you just get your RTSP connection string, and you put it in the, in the path. So, and then it says configuration written to config path. So it's pretty simple, but it gets the job done. So now I'm gonna go into Big Bear Video Assets right here. Uh, there will be a link down in the description for scripts and the video assets. So I'm going to go to how to install Forgate on Cos OS right here. Then uh, I'm going to go into Docker Compose Forgate right here. And I'm going to explain it. So version 3.9 of Docker Compose. And then I'm going to set services. The first service underneath the services is Forgate. The container name is set to Forgate right here. The image is getting off of GitHub, so that lets you know that it's getting off GitHub right here. And it's going for uh, Blake Bl Blackshear uh, for gate right here, and then the stable tag. I'm gonna set it as pr a privileged. I'm gonna set unless stopped for the restart. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. I'm going to adjust the, uh, the based on the, the number of cameras and resolution. So you can adjust this based on how many cameras and resolution you have. So um, I'm going to set some volumes. So I'm going to set for Corel USB and then local time. Then I'm going to set a config directory. I'm going to set a media directory. So these are in the host and these are in the container side. You do not change the container side, you change the host side only if you want to. Now I'm gonna set some ports. So I'm gonna set 5,000 for the web UI on the host side, 5,000 for the web UI in the container side. So you can change the host side of these, but you cannot change the container side. Then I'm gonna set an RTPS feed uh, port, a web RTC port, and a web RTC port on the UDP and the TCP and environment uh, variables are forget RTSP password. I would recommend changing this. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to copy it. But the first thing we gotta do is we gotta go backwards and we gotta go create the config.yaml right here. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go over to Mikasa OS and get this uh, created. So I'm in my Casa OS. I'm gonna go into files real quick and app data. And then uh, this will have forget in it when the script runs. So I'm gonna exit out of that. 
I'm going to go over to terminal and logs. I'm going to type in my username and password for the terminal. And um, if you're on a theme board, this will be Casa OS, Casa OS, if you didn't change it. And um, so now I'm going to connect. And then I'm going to paste it in. So create config. And then I'm going to run it by return or enter. Configuration written. So I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to go to files app. I'm going to go to app data. I'm going to go to forget config and then config.yaml. You can see it's in there now. So we are now prepared for getting uh, forget installed on the Casa OS. So now that we got the config all set up, we're going to need to install forget now. So how to install forget on Casa OS. Big Bear Video Assets will be down a link in the description. So I'm going to Go in here, I'm gonna go to the Docker Compose for Gate. I did already go over this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy raw file. And then I'm gonna go over to my cost OS now and put it in and get it installed. So once the Forgate uh, Docker Compose is uh, copied, we can go over to our cost OS now. I'm gonna go to App Store. I'm gonna go up to Custom Install right here. I'm gonna go to Import. Then I'm going to paste in my Docker Compose. And I'm going to copy this real quick. So that should be good to go. So I'm going to submit. Then I'm going to say OK. Okay, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to give it um, Forget. I'll need to go get an icon URL, but before we do that, I'm going to go through these settings. So I'm going to put it on the web UI port. Why I copied the config right there is I need to put the config right in here. For some reason, um, it doesn't translate right on the import. So once that's done, that should be good. So now I'm going to get the icon URL and make this uh, look better. So I'm going to go over to my Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go to Forget Icon right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go back to my Casa OS. I'm going to paste it in. And then there you go. We got a Forget Icon. So now I'm going to install down here. I'm going to continue in background. This is just pulling it down from uh, the GitHub Docker repo. So, since Docker are layers, it's got to download the layers and then abstract them. And then it's going to set up uh, the Docker Compose in the back end and get it all up and running. So, we have it here. So I'm going to go, you can see open right here. You can open it, the web UI. You can put some tips in. And then you can go here and you can see the settings. You can change some settings. And then once you do that, you just press save. You can go over here. You can see terminal logs up here. This is uh, great for debugging. And then you can export the Docker Compose. And then you can exit it. You can check for updates to do with the current tag. This doesn't change the tag. And then uninstall right here, restart, power off and on. So now we're going to see if this opens. You can see it did open and we got the UI up. So it looks like it's working. So now once you get it up, you can go into the, the video and you can see tracked objects down here, debug. So you can go over here, you can auto dark mode, light, dark, and restart for gate. You can go backwards to cameras again. You can see events. You can see recordings. Toggle detect off and on. 
recordings um, and then toggle snapshots on and off. So um, you can go over here, you can see the storage and see the system. Then you can add cameras. So you can go in here, you can copy that and then you can go down here and you can give that different name and then you can um, save and restart or save only and copy config. And then now you can see a log So that's a little bit about Forgate. So there you have it. I've done a detailed walkthrough on installing Forgate on COS OS. Got it up and running. Showed you the UI a little bit. Um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to Big Bear Community and join our Discord. And stay tuned for more.